Hi, this is Gary with MacMost Now. On today's episode, let me show you how to make a recovery drive for your Mac. Now, starting with Line and continuing with Mountain Line, we've all got a recovery partition on our Mac, at least if we have a fairly recent model Mac and we haven't said anything to something non-standard like using a different uh, type of format for the hard drive. So what this means is there's a small partition on your Mac that you could boot into if you run into trouble. So if somehow your install of Mac OS X gets corrupted or something you can boot holding down Command and R on the keyboard and it will boot into recovery mode. And You can use that to fix the main partition, the main drive, reinstall OS X, do all sorts of things. You don't need another drive. You don't need to ins uh, insert say uh, a DVD that came with your Mac or anything like that to do it because this recovery partition will take care of it for you. However, it doesn't cover one case. What happens if the drive itself goes bad? If it physically is damaged or can't boot and you can either access the regular partition or the recovery partition and say you're adding a new drive to it uh, to replace that one or some other circumstance comes up. Then it's ha handy to have a recovery partition stored on a little USB drive that you can boot from. So the first thing you need to do is you need to get an app from Apple called the Recovery Disk Assistant. And you get it by going here by going to sport.apple.com slash kb slash dl1433. I'll put a link to it in the, the post at MacMost. So you go here and you can download this tiny little utility. Uh, it downloads as a disk image and then you drag the actual utility out of the disk image into say your application slash utilities folder and now you've got it and you can use it. So before I run it I've got this little USB drive here. It's only a one gig drive so it's fairly cheap. It's an old one actually. I don't even know if you can get them that small anymore. And I'm going to plug that into my Mac. It's going to completely reformat it during this process so I don't care about what's on it right now. It's going to be erased and reformatted when I run the assistant. So like I said before I put it in my utilities folder. There it is. I'm going to run it right now. Uh, it's going to ask me to agree to the licensing agreement there. And then it's going to quickly find this USB flash drive I've installed. Uh, if I had multiple ones it would give me an option here. And I know I, it's called Untitled and this is the one I want. So I'm going to select it and I'm going to hit Continue. And then it's going to ask me to authenticate. And then it will just take a few minutes and will basically create the entire disk. There's really no other steps to be done. Now while it's doing this I want you to notice one thing. It's got a picture of Lion here, the Lion icon. Uh, and it even says Mac OS X Lion here uh, in the text. Uh, so the deal is that this was created while OS X Lion was the main operating system and uh, before Mountain Lion came out. And uh, they just never updated it since, but it works either way. It works for Line and for Mountain Lion. And as a matter of fact, you can even see on the web page we visited before, it showed a Mountain Lion icon. So, uh, so don't worry about the image not being quite correct. So when it's done, it renames the drive Recovery HD, and you won't even actually see it appear in the Finder. It's not something that it typically mounts. It's something that you would only use in case of an emergency. So if I wanted to now boot with this in an emergency what I would do is I would plug it into a USB port on the Mac and restart the Mac with the Option key held down. Then I should get the option to boot with the regular hard drive if it's a bootable drive at this point or this one. And I can select this one and then I get all sorts of options like the ability to run disk utility, the ability to reinstall or repair Mac OS X on the main hard drive. I also noticed in my tests that this is a universal recovery drive now. I was able to actually create this on my 2008 Mac Pro and then I used it on my MacBook Air from 2011 and it booted just fine. So unlike in the past where you had DVDs that were specific to a model of Mac, this seems to be something that will work on just about any modern Mac. Not 100% sure of that but at least in my test that's what it showed. Now one footnote here. I believe what this actually does is it copies the data from the recovery partition on your drive to this external drive. So if you don't have a recovery partition on your drive, either because your Mac is too old or because of special format you're using or some other circumstance about how you upgraded to Lion and then to Mountain Lion, then you can't create a USB recovery drive in this manner. So I hope you found this useful. If you have an old drive, a 1 gig or more drive that you're not using, you may just want to go and create a recovery disk and just put it in a drawer. It could come in handy someday. Hope you found this useful. Till next time, this is Gary with MacMost Now.
Want more video tutorials? Just go to MacMost.com, click on the videos link at the top of the page and then you can view all of the hundreds of MacMost videos by category.